The Evergood Civic Transit Bag 40 liters, or CTB40 for short, is a massive and durable bag designed for travel. There is a giant main compartment going on in this thing and I'm excited to dive into all the details with you. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the CTB40 from Everygoods, a bag that we have been putting through its paces for the last two weeks in Detroit. Excited to get into it, let's check it out. Kicking it off with the main material of this pack, we have a 500D nylon. That is the main fabric on the exterior of the pack. It gives it a nice matte black and subdued look. On the inside for the liner, there is a 420D nylon, which is a little bit lower in denier, is a little bit slicker of a feel, and that's gonna be great for the liner on the interior. On a previous Evergoods review that we've done last year, we found that the MPL30 ended up picking up a lot of additional lint and dust. However, that's not quite as much the case with the CTB40 due to some new coating and finish that they're using on their products. The fabric is finished with a polyurethane knife coat on the exterior and then some DWR coating, which is basically going to help with additional weather resistance as well as keeping that fabric a little bit thicker on the exterior. Speaking of stiffening the fabric, there is a layer of foam between the interior and the exterior fabric of this pack, which means that the shape is kept even when there's nothing inside. And this reminds us of other bags we've tested, such as the Fjall Raven Travel Pack. At the time of launching this review, the CTB40 is available in two different colors. We have black and a standard gray. The black version is subdued, providing a little bit more of a streamlined look, and the standard gray version looks a little bit more like something an astronaut would wear. So like an astronaut backpack or like a jetpack type of design going on. I personally love the look of it. However, aesthetics are always in the eyes of the beholder. So we made sure to poll our Instagram audience over at Pack Hacker and here are the results. If you'd like to be involved in future polls, we would definitely like to have you. So head over to Instagram and follow at Pack Hacker. We do these about once a week. One last note on colorways, Evergoods has used this kind of crazy, saturated and bright red color as a colorway for a product or two of theirs. So we'd be curious to see if they introduce more colorways on this pack in the future. From a branding perspective, Evergoods has kept it very minimal. And you can basically see their logo has been embedded down here on the Velcro. So that's kind of their little checkbox slash logo that we see going on here. And then just in other minimalistic places. So the sternum strap as well. You can see it going on there. Then inside of the pack, there's a couple other Evergoods marks. Overall, like that they have kept it tasteful and simple, and it really complements the low profile aesthetic of this pack. And to add to that a little bit, this is kind of a if you know, then you know situation. If you see somebody out with this thing or somebody sees you with it on, there's definitely a great community around Evergoods and packs of this style. So it might even strike up a conversation. And if you see one, you're gonna be like, yep, Gotcha, that's Evergoods. You know, you don't need a massive emblazoned logo on the outside to feel like you're kind of a part of that club. Wrapping it up with the rest of the materials on this bag, everything comes together and it is very high quality. The materials used throughout are some of the best out there and we would expect nothing less from Evergoods in this department. They use a YKK number 10 racket coil zipper for the main compartment and the number eight YKK zippers on other areas of the pack and racket coil is pretty much the standard for roller luggage and bags of very high quality. So we like that they have included that here. It ends up making a really great zipper for luggage. Then there's dense EVA foam on the straps of the pack as well as between the liner and the exterior fabric giving the pack that more boxy shape. And lastly, some high quality plastic Duraflex hardware used in some areas like the adjusters for the straps. Kicking it off with the harness system, it is quite comfortable to wear and very similar to other Evergoods packs, including the MPL30 that we reviewed previously. During our testing with the MPL30, we really appreciated the contoured feel of both the harness system and the pack. It definitely has a bit more of like an aggressive, feel it sort of like is up on your back a little bit further, 
great for things like hiking and biking. And when we got our hands on the CTB40, we weren't exactly sure how that was gonna feel right off the bat because it is more of a boxy and rectangular pack. But we're happy to report that a lot of the same feel has been retained due to them using the same harness system that's been used on a bunch of other Evergoods gear. No load lifters on this one, but at the top of the harness, there is a little bit of design stuff going on here. There's a bunch of extra fabric and it has a bit more of a curved feel, which hikes it up towards the top of your back a little bit more without needing to include load lifters. So a bit of a hack there. Love the way that's been designed. Definitely a very comfortable harness to wear. The extra pieces of fabric at the top here are pass-throughs for a hydration bladder. So this will weave directly into the laptop compartment and the hydration bladder compartment should you wanna use one of those. So a bit of a hybrid going on here. It's kind of an outdoors bag as well as a travel focused bag. The sternum strap works well and again has that nice little Evergoods logo sort of stitched onto it. However, the overall design of this is not ideal. So if you've watched any other of our reviews, we always knock sternum straps with this design down because they are just way too easy to pull out when they're not fasten. Next up, we have these strap adjusters on here. They are a nice Duraflex. And what we're really excited about are these elastic keepers and that system that Evergoods has been using on a lot of other of their bags as well. It's really simple to operate. Just roll up the excess strap and then flip this elastic portion over it. And then you have a nice dangle free experience going on. We really love this. And we've seen it on a lot of other Evergoods gear as well. And lastly on this harness, there is no hip belt and not even an option for one. And at 40 liters, that is definitely pushing it, especially if you have a laptop, a bunch of tech and photography gear in here, that thing is going to be very heavy. And although the harness system is designed in a great way and it's comfortable, at 40 liters, this is really starting to push it. And we like to see at least an option for hip belts at this size. The back panel here is pretty similar to what GORUCK does. There's no additional mesh although it's nicely padded, and then there's like a frame sheet inside to give it a little bit of structure as well. So although air and air mesh doesn't do a ton for back ventilation, maybe some of that could be included in future iterations just to help a little bit with that almost inevitable back sweat that you're always gonna get when wearing a pack, especially in hot weather. While scanning the rest of the exterior of this pack, you're not gonna notice many other features going on, and I believe that is a great thing personally. It keeps that minimalistic and streamlined look for travel and for urban environments when you're, you know, getting on a crowded bus, getting on a plane, you're not strap whacking people. There's not, you know, water bottles hanging out the side, you know, no water bottle compartment on this. So just note that. However, just wrapping up the external components, we have three handles going on. So there is one at the top here that is a nice low profile, but when you grab it, there is ample space for your hand. And then you have a similarly designed two handles on the opposite side here as well. And this is really great because when you have the bag opened in full clamshell mode, you can grab each side of these sort of like this and then carry it around without fully closing the bag. So that's really handy, not only for carrying from the outside, but for usage when the bag is completely open as well. And lastly, below those handles, there are some aluminum stays that help keep the shape of the pack, even when it's fully loaded and you're carrying a bunch of stuff with this thing. And we really like that Evergoods has thought about this. A lot of bags, they sort of just sew the strap on and you can grab it if it's heavy, it's gonna kind of make the bag all weirdly shaped and it's gonna make it look weird. And it's also gonna add unnecessary stress to certain areas of the pack. So this is not only a good decision for durability, but for usability and look as well. Starting off with the quick grab pocket, this is near the wearer's back. Really great size just for a quick grab pocket, tossing in any valuables. And it's nice that this is against the wearer's back, making it hard for anybody else to access while the bag is being worn. The height of it is a little bit taller than the width of a plus size iPhone. There's also a red key strap going on inside of here. Nothing overly special, but maybe it is a hint at that red colorway coming out in more Evergoods bags. We'll see. Usually this top area for the access of the quick grab pocket is where we also see access to the laptop compartment on a lot of other travel bags of this size. However, with the CTB40, the laptop access is on the side here. When you open up this main laptop compartment, you're gonna notice the back is a little bit stiff and that's due to the integrated frame sheet on the inside. This is very similar to GORUCK. 
With our other GORUCK products, we have installed a custom Kydex frame sheet that is a little bit thicker than the stock frame sheet that we've got over at RUCK Customs. So we'd be curious to see if RUCK Customs wants to make a CTB40 version as well on top of the other GORUCK versions they have, just to add a little bit more stiffness if you wanna customize and if the wearer wants to do it. So I don't think they offer it yet, but if you wanna see something like that, be sure to email RUCK Customs and let them know. Then pulling that open, we are just greeted with a singular mesh divider pocket and it is stretchy in nature. There's also a big beefy piece of Velcro here to really secure your laptop inside. So one of my favorite things about the laptop compartment going on here is that that mesh pocket is sort of centered exactly within the bag and it's kind of floating. So a 15 inch laptop will fit in there really well. We've had no problems with our 15 inch MacBook Pro and there is ample space on the top and the bottom and the sides, keeps it locked in nicely. So if you end up dropping your bag for whatever reason, or you know somebody else is handling it, your laptop is about as safe as it's gonna be right in the center, sort of floating inside of this compartment. As a note, there is no dedicated tablet pocket. Also, it is possible to fit in a 17 inch laptop. However, you may need to place it outside of that mesh pocket. So there's ample space going on in the back here. You wanna have that extra like floating protection that we have with a 15 inch laptop, but one can fit should you choose to use it if you have a larger laptop. Next up, let's get into the main massive clamshell compartment of this bag. Access to this pack has been one of our biggest gripes in our two weeks of testing so far, as the zippers on the main compartment are very sticky. At first, we thought that stickiness was attributed to the extra DWR coating on this pack, However, it has become clear to us that the welts on the exterior of the bag are really affecting its ability to unzip and zip quickly. This is especially apparent on the sharp corners going on here because we have some extra fabric reinforcement for those welts and that's where that seam is. And then it gets a little bit challenging on the backside of the clamshell as well where the fabric comes together and the zipper ends because the fabric just naturally stays a little bit closer together. Although this has improved decently in our two weeks of testing, it's still not perfect and we expect it to continue to break in as we use it for longer. It's improved some, but it's not perfect yet. We've even tried to repeatedly zip and unzip the bag quickly in order to force the break in a little bit quicker. We wanted to make sure to email Evergoods and get their thoughts on it, so here's the official word on it from them. The stiffness of the main zipper is primarily due to the exterior welts that meet over the top of the zipper to cover and protect it. The foam shells that provide 360 degree protection to the bag's contents and give it a bit of structure extend all the way into the welts, meeting in the middle so that there isn't a soft spot around the perimeter that's more exposed to weather, impact, and abrasion of the zipper tape. This thing is a beast and is fully padded. The trade-off for this level of protection is that cycling the zipper can be a bit stiff. This should continue to break in over time and we've had a very positive response from customers doing extensive travel with this bag. This protection is also a part of our desire for the CTB40 to be a bag that can be moved around somewhat roughly, all the while lasting for years and years of use for travel or more frequently occurring pursuits that require some gear hauling capabilities with a streamlined exterior and unique opening and storage make it a better choice than a traditional backpack. So there you have it, the official word from Evergoods. If you have been using the CTB40 for over two weeks, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on how these zippers have broken in for you. So please let us know. Once we do get the bag open with those stiff zippers though, we are greeted with a massive bucket on one side and a little bit of organization on the other. So the bigger and taller portion is away from the wearer's back towards the back side of the bag while it's being worn. So on that big bucket side, this is the perfect side to pack your clothing, whether it's inside packing cubes or just free floating. There are some additional compression features, which we're gonna get into in a second. Evergoods has intentionally made the side of the bag a little bit taller to be able to be used with more outdoor-like equipment. So you've got like a helmet in there for climbing, just a bunch of climbing gear. I think they mentioned ski boots. There's a little bit more depth so that you can place these items inside of that area. So from the packing cubes perspective, you can pretty much hold two layers of packing cubes on this side of the bag. The flaps on each side can stay kind of folded inwards and down just to make that more of a bucket, or they can extend and fold upwards 
greatly increasing the size of this compartment as well as adding that compression functionality to further cram your gear down to a smaller size. On that compression flap, there is one small pocket that is great for just slipping in an ID, as well as there's a bit of a security pocket there as well. The nice thing about the positioning of this pocket is that it's easy to access if you're the wearer of this bag and you know where it is. So you can just quickly open that zipper on the outside and then get access to this interior pocket. Then moving on to the other side of the slightly more shallow bucket compartment, there is some great optional organization going on here. There's one large mesh pocket at the bottom with a little bit of depth to the fabric so you can fit thicker items inside. On the top right, we have another mesh pocket similar in height, has some of that depth, but is half the size due to on the other side being a nylon liner pocket that's a little more private and secure for anything else that you wanna put inside of it like money or just anything extra, maybe your passport. If you really want your passport to be super secure and you don't wanna hold it in that flat pocket, it's great for a little bit of extra security and nobody can see it like you can with the mesh. So it's nice that Evergoods has given us options here. And right above that pocket, there is a nice rubbery tag from Evergoods with some additional info like make, model, year, and how to care for the bag. It's a nice touch and it feels high quality. This organization is great here, just three simple pockets going for a more pouch-like approach. This is great compared to some other bags that have just way overkill on the organization front. This is gonna work for a lot more gear. It's gonna be versatile, and it's gonna really allow the user to use these pockets the way that they see fit. At the time of this review, we have really put the CTB40 through its paces over two weeks of solid testing in Detroit, Michigan. It's picked up a decent amount of dirt after biking outside in the snow and having the tires flip up a bunch of salt and muck and slush as we are wrapping up winter here in Detroit. However, it has held up really well and lint doesn't stick to it quite as much as we've seen in the MPL 30. It sort of goes without saying with Evergoods, but of course we're always gonna give things a solid test they use some of the best materials out there, so we have not had any issues with the usability or durability of most of the materials, and everything's held up well. We imagine it will continue to do so. Our one gripe is mainly around these zippers and the way that that's designed on the outside makes it hard to zip and unzip quickly. Although we've broken it in and it's helped a decent amount, we're still not quite satisfied with the speed and the ability there. So with prolonged and continued use, we hope that continues to improve. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, this pack has a very comfortable carry. Evergoods uses similar harness systems in other packs and it seemed to work well, even without the load lifters and the hip belt. There is some great organization on the inside. The three zippered pockets are nice for compartmentalizing gear and they don't go overboard with a bunch of extra pouches and pockets in compartmentalization. High quality design is offered across the board from the materials used to the thinking and the designing of the bag. Most things in this pack are very well thought out and considered. On to some of the cons because no bags are perfect. The sternum strap design isn't ideal. It's too easy to accidentally pull out. There are no load lifters and hip belt. Although the curved harness makes it more comfortable, it would be nice to at least have that option for a hip belt for people carrying heavier gear in this large 40 liter bag. And lastly, these stiff zippers on the main compartment due to the exterior welts are not quite ideal, and we hope this continues to break in more, offering a smoother zipping experience in the future. Overall, the Evergood CTB40 is a high quality pack that uses some excellent materials backed with solid design thinking across the board. The harness system is really comfortable and innovative, although we wish there was at least an option for a hip belt at 40 liters. The giant bucket compartment paired with some options for simple organization are ideal for packing cube style packing, our favorite. This is becoming one of the best maximum legal style rectangular bags optimized for travel that we have tested to date. It holds a ton of stuff and we are excited to continue to test it. So there you have it, our review on the Evergoods Civic Transit bag. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think of this thing and thank you for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.